yes 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 Kenya Tamu sana tamu sana yes tamu sana tamu sana Yesterday Dennis Itumbi a very well known Ruto blogger and some somehow the spokesman of Hasla dropped a bombshell yesterday through his Facebook account I feel it's necessary we have a look at this post and see whether it, ha it has some credit. So let me just read for you what Dennis Itumbi posted yesterday through his Facebook account. And then we are going to dissect and analyze this into details and see whether it has some merit or not. This is what he posted. Jubilee has formed a secretariat to ensure one NASA candidate. Then the second thing he says, first meeting at Windsor Hotel. The third thing he says, ODM and Jubilee discussed possibilities of a coalition agreement. That's Dennis Itumbi's post yesterday. And then after this post, he posted some photos together with this post of Edwin Sifuna, Murade Tuju, Junet Mohammed and Maoka Maure. So this post, ladies and gentlemen, there are some things that comes out or rather emerges from this post. The first thing that is that Jubilee has formed a secretariat to ensure that NASA produces one candidate. And that the first meeting was held yesterday at Windsor Hotel. And then he also insinuates that ODM and Jubilee discussed possibilities of a coalition agreement. This is our discussion today, ladies and gentlemen. So in case you've just bumped on this YouTube channel, tap on the subscription button and also on the notification bell to receive a notification anytime we upload a new video. I also kindly implore upon you to give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Straight away to our discussion. Is there a possibility of NASA fielding one candidate? Is there that possibility? Because from where I sit now, or even from what is happening today in Kenya, Kalonzo Musioka and Musela Mudavadi, two integral part of the NASA coalition, are sending some mixed signals that they are not willing to work with Raila Amulo Odinga. Yes. So is there a possibility that NASA can eventually field one presidential candidate? That's our discussion. The first reason, or rather the first thing I strongly believe that NASA as it is today can field one presidential candidate. And this is simply because from the behind the scenes and from for what we have been discussing in this YouTube channel, the president has already, or rather, seems to have thrown already his weight behind a Raila candidature. From the news we are gathering and from the information, it most highly, it, it most likely that the president has already thrown his weight behind Araila Amolo Odinga presidency. So the moment that will be made clear to the other NASA principals, they'll just have to coil their tail and support Raila Amolo Odinga, Odinga's candidature. I believe that when <laughs> the moment that will be made very clear to them in uncertain terms, in certain terms, then NASA will just field one presidential candidate. The second thing I strongly believe that NASA will eventually field one candidate simply because of this. Looking at NASA leaders, let's look at Musalia Modavadi and Moses Masika Wetangula. Their support base <laughs> seems to be leaning towards Araila Amolo Odinga. Odinga's presidency. We all know that in 2013, 
Musalia Mudawadi contested for the presidency. But Raila Amuru Odinga beat him there. And then again in 2013, Moses Masika Wetangula support base forced him to work with Raila Amolo Odinga. Looking at those variables, I strongly believe that eventually Musalia Mudavadi might be forced by their, support, by their supporters, or rather from the support base they come from, they might be forced by these supporters to work with Raila Amolo Odinga. So I believe that NASA might just eventually field one presidential candidate. And then on that point, looking at somebody like Kalonzo Musioka. You know, Kalonzo Musioka is one person I've been stating in this YouTube channel that if you study Kalonzo's, Kalonzo Musioka's politics, Kalonzo has a, a very long nose of smelling where power is heading to. I've been stating that in this YouTube channel. So I strongly believe the moment now Uhuru Kenyatta will come out in the open and state that he's supporting Raila Amolo Odinga, or all that, the moment Uhuru will make it very clear as who his, support, his preferred candidate is, whether it's Raila or not, Kalonzo will just have to go with that, because I strongly believe that Kalonzo will do anything it takes to be in the next government. So I believe as, as of now, Kalonzo might be rebelling because he has not been given a clear signal. And also he might be rebelling just to up his stakes on the negotiating table. Once he will be assured of what he will get in the next government, I believe Kalonzo will have no problem to support Raila or any other NASA candidate. The third reason I strongly believe that these people might field one candidate is simply because as of now, they all seem to have one common enemy in the name of William Samoy Arap Ruto. About some few months ago, we had Kalonzo Musioka. In fact, there was some very ugly, heated exchange between Kalonzo and William Ruto. In fact, William Ruto made it very clear that the only legacy Kalonzo Musioka has is that he sits <laughs> in a public land, I think some in Yata, something like that. Kalonzo never took that lightly. And we saw Kalonzo reporting to DCI, something like that, for some investigations to be launched upon one William Ruto. And now if you look at Kalonzo Musioka, Musaila Mudavadi, Raila Omulo Dinga, and even Uhuru Kenyatta, their common enemy seems to be one William Ruto. And I believe that the president cannot allow either Musaila Mudavadi or will or Kalonzo Musioka to work with one William Ruto. So the common enemy as of now of all these NASA principles seems to appear as one William Ruto. This can just solidify them and make sure they work together. Finally, I believe that all these NASA principles might work together because they have previously worked together. So they can just work together again. You know, Kalonzo has worked with Raila as from 2013. Musalia Mudawadi has been with Raila as from 07, 2017. So these people can work together. You know, they can differ as of now. But in, even in the past elections, in 2013, for instance, uh, just about one week before Kalonzo sealed a deal with Raila Amolo Odinga, Kalonzo really castigated Raila and made it clear that he could not work with Raila Amolo Odinga. Only for him to be seen signing a political pact with Raila Amolo Odinga about one week later. So Kalonzo Musioka and even Musela Mudavadi and even Moses Masika Wetangula, the fact that they have, been, they, they have worked with Raila previously can also just prove that they might work again towards 2022 general election. So for today, folks, I strongly believe that, as of now, talks are still going behind the scene. And there was also a planned meeting that was to take place between Raila Amolo Odinga and these other NASA principals. So we are still following on that. I don't know whether, because we have seen them today, they are in this uh, 
require mass for uh, they are in this thing for Kirubi, Chris Kirubi. So I don't know whether after that they will meet or not, but whether they meet or not, I believe that at one point these people will meet and they will just have to iron out their differences amicably. Otherwise, folks, if you've burnt on this YouTube channel, just as I did mention, tap on the subscription button and also on the notification bell. And I also remind you to give this video a like. Give it a like, please. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamusana. Tamusana is Tamusana.